Hi there, uh, we're here in the spring of the year, it's 2018, and it's May the 9th. Uh, we've been through our hives a couple times already, but we're now out cleaning up dead hives, my least favorite job of the year. But we got to do it and want to talk through uh, how to deal with dead hives, how to diagnose some of the issues that you might see, and uh, how to clean up the colonies, and uh, we're going to make the best of a bad situation here. We're going to be able to renew comb, fix boxes, and make this uh, dead hive an opportunity to kind of refresh things a little bit. So first, Stephanie's gonna unwrap the hive over here. Uh, just to back up a little bit, uh, two weeks ago we came along and we took these wraps off. Go ahead, Stephanie. So the, inter the lid comes off the hive, and then these wraps that are made by the Wellington County Beekeepers Association come off. I like to flip them upside down on the ground, let any bees out. And then this is our inner insulation here that keeps the hives nice and warm and prevents condensation. Uh, some of our hives aren't that strong this year. We've got about three frames of bees there in this hive. And that's what we've marked on the lid. We've marked May 1st, three frames. So. That one's got a ways to go, but everything's kind of variable this year. It was a tough winter, and uh, we've had uh, more losses than usual, and our colonies are a little bit more even in terms of strength this year. So this is a dead hive here. You can see some bees getting out in there to uh, rob a little bit. Um, uh, we're trying to get these colonies put away before that happens, because that could be potential to transmit to American Falbrood. But we're going to check the hive over and make sure that's not a problem. So a lid off there, inner cover off, and there you can see some dead bees there. But what we want to do is clean this hive up. So we'll flip it over, and on the bottom we have screws that hold our bottom boards on. We'll just unscrew those. And then we're going to clean out any dead bees that we have. So there's our bottom board there. There's our screened inner cover. And all this we're going to clean off in a wheelbarrow over here so we don't, we're not spreading debris all over the bee yard for biosecurity reasons. To get the frames out of the box, I find the easiest way is to drop the box like that, pick it up like that, and now we got the empty box. That makes it kind of easy to go through and clean up the comb and the bottom board. So we use a wide scraper, clean up the bottom board. The screen itself is pretty much tap that off to clean it up. Most of our hives have a wooden slide in there that we put our Varroa sticky papers on. This one happens to have a metal one. So again, the reason we're keeping all this debris contained is so that we're not, uh, there's not risk of spreading disease from all the the gunk that we're spreading all over the place here. We can then take frames and brush dead bees off. Oh, you see actually right away what the problem was with this hive. We've got really uneven looking uh, comb here. If I hold it from the side and you can see some drone pupa in worker size cells. So we know there was some kind of a queen problem and that was a real significant problem last year. The mating was really terrible. Uh, very often the queens were mated with just one or two drones and so they petered out at the, in the fall of the year and that uh, means the colony is no chance of surviving because they don't have a queen going into the winter time. So we can see that on that comb there. Frames just go into here and we keep brushing them off. 
Some hives have more dead bees than others in them, and uh, with these there's not much to brush off there, but we'll see. I think we'll come to a bit of a cluster. There's the bees there. Lots of pollen inside the cells. You can see lots of pollen in there. They weren't able to use any pollen uh, because they weren't rearing much in the way of brood. You can see it's some queen cells there where they've tried to raise a queen. A few dead bees inside the cells down in here. Uh, this is old comb. Well, that's probably a frame we'll get rid of. Just brushing the bees off, cleaning things up. If we leave dead bees in there, as you, like you can see there, uh, they're just going to mold and stink, so we'll get rid of them right now. You can really see that uneven comb there. That's definitely a frame that we're going to get rid of. It's all got holes chewed in it. There's a uh, real mishmash of uh, cell sizes in there. There's a wire sticking out here. It's time to time to re renew that. Uh, put it in, replace it with a new frame. Okay. We're going to take this box, these boxes inside and sort through the comb and scrape them and check them over for other disease. <laughs> 